welcome to my class. Topic number 5, Solving and Interpreting for Mean, Variance, and Standard Deviation. Our objectives are illustrate the mean and variance of a discrete random variable, calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable. For us to be able to determine the mean of a discrete, val discrete random variable, uh, we have to use this uh, formula, the summation of uh, x times p of x, where we're going to add the, the product of the x times the probability of x of 1, and so on. For us to be able to understand this, let us use this example. Let us determine the mean of the dis discrete probability distribution of the kakanin salt in Kasiglan's bake shop, which were used a while ago. So, please listen. Okay, so as mentioned a while ago, for us to be able to get the mean, the formula that were presented is the summation of x times p of x, wherein we're going to multiply the value of our uh, x to our p of x, and we're going to add all. Okay? Now, to indicate now what are the x to the p of x, let us multiply 35 times 0.1 plus 37 times 0 0.2, which is here. The third one is... 40 times 0 0.1 plus uh, 42 times 0 0.2 plus 45 times 0 0.3 plus 50 times 0 0.1. Okay. So you may use a calculator to illustrate the uh, or to solve for this. So we have 35 times 0 0.1, so we have 3.5. Next, we have 37 times 0 0.2, we have 7.4, plus 40 times 0 0.1 is 4, plus 42 times 0 0.2 is 8.4, plus uh, 45 times 0 0.3, we have 13.5, and we have last one, which is 50 times 0 0.1, we have 5. Now, let us add all of this. So, we have 3.5 plus 7.4 plus 4 plus 8.4 plus 13.5 and plus 5. So, we have 41.8. So, this is our mean for so given um, solution for the given problem. For us to be able to get the variance standard deviation, we're going to utilize these formulas. So, the first one is the variance, which is the summation of the prod, the square of the difference of x minus the mean times the probability and the square of its variance. So, that's to get the standard deviation. Now, please listen how to solve the given standard deviation and variance. Okay, to continue, after solving for our... Um, which is our mean here, we're going to use this for us to continue to solve for our variance, which was illustrated a while ago, that variance can be solved by the summation of the difference of the, uh, uh, the square of the x minus the mean and its probability. Now, to compute that, we need to complete first this table. So, we have to solve for the... Uh, uh, x minus the mean. So, we're going to subtract this by our given mean. So, we have 35 minus 41.8. So, we have negative 6.8. Next, we have 37 minus 41.8. We have negative 4.8. Next, we have 40 minus 41.8. We have negative 1.8. 42 minus 41.8 is, uh, we have 0 0.2. Next is 45 minus 41.8. We have uh, 3.2. And 50 minus 41.8, we have 8.2. After that, we're now going to square this. So, for us to be able to get the square, we're just going to multiply uh, 6.8 to itself, so that is 6.8 squared, so we have 46.24. Since negative raised to 2 is positive already. 
we have uh, 4.8 uh, squared. We have uh, 23.04. 1.8 or negative 1.8 squared, we have 3.24. Point 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. Um, we have 3.2 squared is 10.24. 8.2 squared is 67.24. After getting this, we're now going to multiply it to the probability. So, getting this, we're going to multiply this here. Okay? Okay, so let us now solve. 46.24 times 0 0.1. Or 0 0.1. So, we have 4.624. Next, we have uh, 23.04 times um, 0.2. So, we have uh, 4.608. Okay. Next, we have uh, 3.24 times uh, 0 0.1. So, we have uh, 0 0.324. Next, we have uh, 0 0.04 times 0 0.2. So, we have 0 0.008. Next, we have 10.24 times 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Okay, so we're going to point three. That is three point zero seven. And last, we have sixty-seven point twenty-four multiplied by two point one. So we have six point seven two four. Then after that, we're now going to add all of this. Okay, so let us add. So for us to be able to get the summation of mean minus squared times p of x. Okay. So, let us add 4.624 plus 4.608 plus 0 0.0324 is 1 plus 0 0.008 plus uh, 3.072 plus 6.724 So, we get 19.068 or 19.07 so this will be our variance okay now we already got the variance now let's have now the standard deviation for us to be get to get the standard deviation we're just going to square the given variance which is the square root of 19.07 so the square of 19.07 is 4.8 36.6 or 37. So, this is how we get the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Now, for us to interpret the result, we are just all going to take note of the variance. So, for, for if the variance or the standard deviation um, is small, it is, it is assumed that all the data or all the values are all close to mean. So, if you're going to observe our answer a while ago, the given, uh, uh, the given uh, standard deviation is uh, uh, 4 point something. So, that is very small. That is small. So, that is assumed close to the mean. And while the higher variance of standard deviation means that the given values are st spread out. So, specifically, the variance standard deviation measure or describes how far a set of data is spread out. Okay, class. Thank you for watching and happy learning! Please like and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning!